when you're loading snippets on a website, whether it's a Facebook pixel or a LinkedIn pixel or uh, Google ad tracking, remarketing, whatever, you have two options. You can either load those snippets or those tags directly on the website, or you can put them into a tag manager. It could be Google Tag Manager, it could be Telium, but whatever. You're going to put them in a tag manager. The research has shown that if you put them in a tag manager, it's it's going to have a, a positive impact on the page speed. In other words, the page speed will load more, more quickly than if you just had them out individually. But that doesn't mean that Google Tag Manager doesn't get blamed for slow page load times at, time, at times because those snippets could be really slow in, in, in operating and in, in performing. And Google Tag Manager, the container, then gets blamed because the tools that look at like Core Web Vitals will say, oh, there's something wrong with Google Tag Manager here. It's really being slow and responding. But it's actually not the Tag Manager's fault. It's the fault of the tags itself within, within the Tag Manager. So that's one thing. The other thing is that Google Tag Manager can really help the page speed issue in that you can, you can decide when you're going to load those snippets up. You can do it very early in the process. You can do it in the middle of the process. You can do it after the whole page is loaded. You can even do it like one or two seconds after the page is loaded. So there's a lot of intelligence that goes into the Google Tag Manager in terms of deciding, when am I going to fire this tag? Is it going to be right at the beginning or is it going to be right at the end? And when we do remediation efforts on, on sites that are slow, 